You're not long back from your latest bit of surgery, are you? It's been, what, 48 hours that I've just arrived in the UK? Wow. Yeah. So you went to Iran to have... I did. At, what did at you this have time, done this time? At this time, I had a nose job. I had on my, chin, my chin implant replaced. I had a brown lift, an eye lift. What, 24 hours ago? No, Don, I just learned it 48 oh, hours ago. It was oh, 10 wow. days ago, 10 days ago. Uh, uh, did I read yeah, correctly that ago. your chin implant came in the post? Yeah, you're right. Yeah, my chin implant was uh, custom made in Germany. So I was in Iran just like sitting and waiting, having ice cream, waiting for it to arrive. And then eventually it did. And then the doctor was able to take the old one out and replace by a smaller one. And Wait, why, why Iran? Why did you go to Iran? Well, what? I did a thorough research. I mean, I don't know if you followed the story. I had a few problems with my breathing, my nose, bacterial infection. That's why I had so many nose jobs. Mm. It wasn't a, it was a must, was a need, rather than just a want. Uh, and then I, I found out that Iran is the country number one for rhinoplasty. So that's the, the way you look before, and you didn't like that. Oh, what, like what, that. what started all this surgery off then? What, what was the push to do the change? Uh -huh. Sure, yeah. At the age of uh, 17, I had my first uh, plastic surgery. I had boobs, as you saw there. It was... Uh, uh, a time of puberty and boobs started to grow and I was very much bullied at school for that and uh, boys would push me down the stairs, push my face against the urana because I had a large white nose and uh, my parents uh, could not identify that I was being bullied at school and then I would not bring that harm either. Uh, at the time they were going through divorce and then I didn't want to bother them with know my issues at school. I just... If they did know, do you think you would have carried on with Oh, this? gosh, no, no. If they noticed and dealt with it properly, and even the teachers at school at the time, I suppose that I've taken this through a different path, really. You see, cos I'm, I'm no psychotherapist, but you sounded like when you were there you were in a situation really out of control. You were being bullied, yeah. your parents were divorcing, they yeah. weren't noticing. It was tough. And you've embarked upon this massive journey where By you're myself. totally remodelling your myself. body. And that was yeah. in Brazil, and then I moved to the UK at the age of... Uh, uh, 18, 19 by myself to go to university and I've been but, here But what you've since. done, though, is you've yeah. changed yourself physically. I reinvented but, myself. But what, yeah, but, but you were saying you, that, that you, you were feeling insecure because of these awful things that were happening in your Absolutely, life. yeah. That's in, in there. Yeah. It's not a physical thing, so... I mean, are you still jumbled up inside your head? Uh, uh, well, uh, you're absolutely, you're totally right. And uh, for that, I know people may think he's crazy. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I have had all sort of treatment, psychological treatment, and uh, I'm, I'm, I don't have body dysmorphic disorder. I've been treated for that. you let it stop? And uh, I, have, I, I was born in the wrong body, that's it. But do you and think you're today... for stop having surgery? Uh, would you stop having surgery? No, not at all. There you go, high five to them. <laughs> <laughs> to the extent of you yet. But, but you don't need it. You're gorgeous. Look at you. Yeah, but I thought you was good looking before as what, well. What, like that? Oh, the body. I think your body does look better now the old six-pack and <laughs> that. You. I'm telling you. I'm only telling the truth. Uh -huh. What I think, personally. But, but it's a maintenance. It is a maintenance. Once you start... But has any surgeon ever turned you down? Because they have me once. Because I wanted to get this but lifted. You know, but, you, but you know what? They and turned they said you down. No. Because, Pardon? but you know what, they have turned you down. Because they don't think because, I needed it. No, 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 that's because you are Katie Price and uh, you're famous and they know if they have uh, done anything wrong... That but would if a be, surgeon that's... turned you down, what would you do? Go to another surgeon and say, I want this done? Yeah, well, they never turned me down, But, really. but it's interesting have... you say it, once it, you it... start, you... You can't stop because I mean you this morning, I... I she oh, yeah, I know, I, I, someone's she seen said, myself and my telling sometimes again. I'm like, oh, my God, my lips look too much while I calm down. But if I really look, my nose looks a little bit bent. But Katie doesn't. <laughs> no, but I don't know what you mean, but I don't, don't say it, but it's, you but know... What, can I just ask you, what do you see when you look in the mirror? I see... Uh, I'm the fruit of my imagination and everything that I have always wanted to be. I'm exotic. Uh, I'm good-looking to... I think that I'm good-looking, but not to other people. Do you think people, people look at you? Because I'm, I'm just being honest. Do you think people look at you because they think you're good-looking or do you think they look at you and think, bloody hell, yeah, what's that done? Yeah, mm. yeah, he, he looks different. He's very different. Yeah, I know, I know exactly what I look like. I mean, you, you, <laughs> you, you say that you've had psychological tests, but yeah, I think, as, as Kate said, we're no, we're no would psychotherapist. Would you like to know the result of that? No, but... Surely that it's not it's not normal behaviour to constantly want to keep changing yourself physically. 
is it? But a lot of people do. Going to the gym is a form of body modification, and people keep wanting to get even more but muscle. But it's not going right? under general uh, anaesthetic and knives and being opened body, up. It's a form of body modification as well. It's also, I suppose, people would say fitness, isn't it? It's not just about the way you look when you go to the gym, it's about being fitter. Um, do you think you, Katie, when you have surgery and you say, oh, I want this, is it because you want to change the way you look or is it because you want to look younger? Well, the difference is, you might agree, there's a lot of people in this industry who have surgery, lots of it, and they're like, oh, no, I'm natural. The difference for me, why people think I have got body dysmorphia or whatever, is because I tell them what I do. Mm. Now, I'd rather start young instead of doing it all when I'm older. So, that's it, I I'm, I'm don't care. Has anyone ever said you've had too much? Do you listen? Well, I haven't really had that much done, mm. but, yeah, I got turned down the other week, which is why I had threads put in, and in two weeks they're going to lift it, so I should probably oh, look... What? What are threads? They're basically threads that you put in. I've had them put in, and um, they have to embed in your muscles, and then <laughs> in two on. weeks they're reopen and they'll pull it. So you'll see me in two weeks. Wow. <laughs> the before and after. But I talk about it. A lot of people don't. I don't care. But mm. the thing is, if, it, if I don't like it, then they can release it again.